Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to be going over another camera tool. It's actually the last in our camera tool series that we've been doing lately. You can see the camera tools under View, Camera Tools, and I'll break this off. So we've already gone over all the other ones except for the last one. And so if you'd like to look at the previous videos, feel free to check out any of these following links to see the Tumble Tool, Track Tool, Dolly Tool, Zoom Tool, 2D pan slash zoom tool, roll tool, azimuth elevation tool, or the all pitch tool. Those all had settings associated with them, so those videos were a bit more involved for the most part than the fly tool would be, since the fly tool literally has no settings, it's just the fly tool. If I click it, and then I close the camera tools window here, you see my cursor changes to this kind of multi arrow going in three different directions. And what the fly tool does is it lets you fly through a scene using controls that are very similar to what you might find in a video game uh, or a video game engine editor or something like that. If, you do, if you've done any game work, you might be familiar with some of these controls for zooming, flying through a scene. I don't really have a scene here, so let me really quickly, before I get into it, let me just make some objects to fly through. Okay, so we have our cityscape, or whatever you want to call it. And now we're going to use our fly tool to kind of fly through here. Now you can see I can obviously pan and zoom and rotate around like I would normally do with my scene. But if you wanted to actually fly through the scene, oh, some of these are actually too low. Let's move these back up. So if you wanted to fly through the scene like a helicopter or something, you can do that with the fly tool. So you go to view, camera tools, fly tool. So by click and drag, I change my camera angle, hold control, click and drag, and I zoom forward. So I'll let go of control, change my camera angle, zoom forward or zoom backwards, change camera angle, and zoom forwards. Again, I'm holding control to go forward and back, letting go to change my camera angle. It's kind of sensitive on my machine. You might need to adjust your mouse sensitivity in general if it's a little too fast for you. So yeah, just holding control, letting go to change my angle, hold control to move forward again or go backwards. So again, holding control to move forward and back, letting go to just change the angle. And that is the fly tool. Again, holding control, you can also move kind of side to side. So hold control, left and right, forward and back, side to side, like so. Let go, change angle, hold control again. So yeah, the fly tool. Not a lot to it, but it's kind of an interesting way of navigating your scene. If you have, especially if you have a large scene with lots of things in it, you might want to do that. So this has been the Fly Tool. This is the end of our Camera Tools series. Hope you enjoyed going through all these. The View Camera Tools. All of these tools here. Uh, feel free to offer suggestions or requests from things you'd like me to go over next or in the future. Uh, thanks again for watching and I will talk to all of you guys later.